So if we look at what we've got and compare it to the, a native app, the most obvious difference is what happens when you click a link. On our site, there is a complete refresh of the page, just like a regular website. On native apps, we get a sexy slidey effect. We wanted some of that. The problem is we have a traditional web round trip model, which doesn't lend itself to a nice transition. However, if we load the content via Ajax and then insert it into our DOM ourselves, we can probably get a pretty good result. We'll look at adding animations shortly, but before we do that, we need a mechanism to intercept clicks on our user interface. As neither the iPhone nor Android use transitions when you click on the tab bar, we'll start there. Let's have a look at the markup of the tab bar. The LI looks like the best option to bind a click event to, so using jQuery, we can attach a click event to them. As you can see, it doesn't really do anything exciting, it just pops up an alert box, but it proves that it is working. If you run this on a real or emulated device, you might notice a slight delay between touching the tab and the alert being fired off. This is because OnClick is designed for a mouse, which is very accurate. It's easy to work out the difference between a click and a drag. Fingers, not so much. Many devices insert a short delay before firing off a click event, just to make sure you don't want to drag or do something else. Thankfully, most devices implement specific touch events that we can bind to, which are much snappier. Of course, not all the browsers handle everything exactly the same way. That would be too easy. Anyway, let's rejig the code to use a new event, touch end. That's much snappier. Of course, this means you are now stuck testing on a real device because desktops don't have a touch end event. Or do they? No, they don't, but we can fake it by using feature detection. We can bind to a click event if the touch end event isn't supported. At the end of the day, a click event will probably be okay, even for mobiles, but just in case they aren't, now you know what to do. It's a matter of testing and seeing what feels right. We'll cover specialized events like swiping and pinch zoom in more detail later on.